Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video Truder, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. Well, last time, let's just say I decided to, um, do a little bit of redecorating in Central Europe, and, uh, it's looking a lot more sexy now, if I do say so myself, and also, uh, one other very small thing, we may have gone from uh, not enough children to, um, far too many, but, 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 this puts us... Uh, in a unique and excellent position, because I have now got primogeniture. Because my last two rulers have been so damn smart, we have just been speeding through the tech tree. And I've got absolute crown authority. And that means I can just point to child of my choosing and say, you, you're going to be emperor or empress next. And they just are. They're just going to inherit everything. So, uh, yes, we've actually now, uh, for the first time, just got the freedom uh, to pick a child that we like the Luxi of. So, uh, today, uh, yeah, it's going to be very important to see uh, which of these children uh, turns out okay, uh, versus uh, which are assassinated uh, by the various other wives, ex-wives, concubines, and lovers uh, that I've been maintaining uh, to have this many children. And while that's going on, yeah, with the Holy Roman Empire looking uh, very, very vulnerable, and I'm kind of hoping that maybe orthodoxy will sense what's going on here. We need to keep picking apart Catholicism, and uh, I think I know where we need to start. France. France is looking uh, very weak indeed, and uh, they've got so few troops from now, they're actually also in a war with the nudists next door, which is great, because that's going to keep them busy, a war they're actually losing over this tiny bit of territory here, I believe. So, uh, yeah. If we go in and just knock out a bit of France, just, you know, let the nudists do their own thing. I don't care. They can do what they want because, uh, to be honest, I think it's safe to click on these guys. Yes, it's 100% safe because they keep marrying Catholic, which is great. They are actually pretty darn strong. They've got 9,000 troops. It's possible, despite their tiny size, uh, yeah, under the right circumstances, uh, they might be able to start gaining ground versus the Aquitanians down south. So... Uh, if they could do that, that'd be great, because they're not Catholic. We're just looking to weaken Catholicism. So, uh, another thing, of course, is uh, I like to keep making a profit while at war. So, uh, any war which I can wage without actually needing to, you know, send in much in the way of levies, because levies are expensive, uh, that'd be damn good. So, uh, France, I think we're kicking off with you, France. Ah, yes, Normandy. That'll do as a starting point. That's, that's a fair bit of land, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's loads. Love it. Right, we are just swimming in prestige. Let's get this flipping done. There's nothing they can do to me. Okay, raise the troops. That there is presumably all of the men-at-arms, because they're now all standing. So, uh, straight away, uh, that's going to be, I don't know, a certain number of troops. Why are you just standing here by yourself, by the way? I don't know, but you are. Okay, that's just two knights who have decided to stand there by themselves for some reason. Okay, so we're going to be needing a little bit more than that, but we are still making a, a good profit. So wait, and as long as I'm still making maybe 10 or something, how many's that? Honestly, that's not, not really enough. And irritating, I was literally about to go and hire the Holy Order myself, but now they've just been called out, though... Uh, I mean, they're getting somewhere. They've now got, I believe, three cities. So, uh, they come with flipping armoured horsemen, 150 of them. That's not bad. Okay, maybe a handful more troops just to... Okay, that's... Oh, that's minus 15. Okay, the exact thing I just said I wanted to, to not happen uh, has just... Okay, that's maybe a few too many. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just, just split this in half a little bit. Let's, uh... Get some levies out the way. We don't need that many levies. In fact, you know what? Just take those ones. Break you down. That's... You know what? That's probably... Oh, there's, there's so many armies. Why are there two on top of each other here? Okay, now... Now we have got an army that we can just about afford in full. And then we can just go over here. Start on these lads. Bring you all together. Bring in Loki Philipson. And that will be... That'll be... Oh, hang on. Did I tell you to stop? Please all stop raising. Okay, we're losing a tiny bit of money. Just a tiny, tiny amount. But as soon as we bring everybody together, and then we lose a bit to attrition, and, and it's gone up a little bit. Okay, you know what? That's why you... No! You just... Everybody needs to just... Bloody hell. Just, just stand still. Everybody... I'm going to be honest. I prefer the old system. 
Okay, we're now making a profit. We have got plenty of troops. We have got a siege specialist. We have got cannons. Uh, this is going to be fun. And the French are kind of busy, uh, yeah, fighting back and forth with uh, the nudist next door. So uh, they don't stand a chance regardless. Right, nip over here to Bayer. Quick victory. Might just impress everybody. Get a tapestry made of it. Something like that. Oh, here's interesting. So, um, apparently Freya offers me her blessing. So, uh, okay. Um, only shadows. Uh, and there's a demon in my bedroom. So I could become a witch. Which, what happens if I become a witch? I lose diplomacy, but I gain... Uh, oh, I'm good to be honest. That's, that's fine. Yeah, and just, just double check, actually. I'm pretty sure we, like... We legalized witchcraft, didn't we? Oh yeah, witchcraft is fine. So yeah, I'm gonna become a witch. That's marvelous. Though, uh, is a male witch like always a witch? I thought that was warlocks, but sure, I'll be a witch. With all my flipping heart, demon, I embrace you. That's fun. Anyway, I hope there's like lots of witchy events. And now all the other witches are coming to hang out, which is really, really nice. So, uh, okay, nice, naked, presumably sexy ritual out in the forest. So, uh, what are we going to do? Lead a prayer. So, uh, wise mistress or mother of secrets lends me power. Clear mind for... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't bring this guy peace. Bring me peace and also magic powers. I want to turn people into frogs, damn it. And I've got a catastrophically disappointing daughter here. So, yeah, she's only uh, level one beautiful, uh, level one intelligent, child of a concubine. No, no, no. She shall be baby disappointment. She doesn't deserve the name of Ellen, damn it. Now, time to take out that bloody duchess who's been causing trouble for me. So this should be a nice easy one. And there we go. She is dead. My agitators were hanged. Nothing could be traced back to me. Job flipping done. Okay, hang on. So that's now been sorted out. That means we can rationalise uh, this over here. Who wants to be the new flipping duke of uh, whatever? Well, you've literally already converted. So I tell you what, that's that's pretty good. Oh, that's because you're okay. That's fine. That makes sense. Um, You're the new duke. You appear to be a child. Uh, how do you feel about converting? Can I demand your conversion? He's not thrilled about the idea, to be honest. Um, But he's already the duke. Okay. Here's what we're going to do, boy. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, all of this ought to belong to him anyway. You're just a count, so... Uh, all right, I'm going to give you uh, some vassals because I'm nice like that. I think I have to do this uh, one at a time. Ah, but unfortunately, this guy over here is... Oh, he's actually not part of our empire, so I can't grant him. So, okay, I can actually give you... I'm going to give you, like, that one bit of territory. I will also give you some money. All right, here is a pile of money. And I could demand conversion or this guy's a child. Okay, how about I offer my guardianship to you instead? And okay, what are you actually learning how to do right now? Intrigue focus. So uh, this guy, my own nephew. And uh, will you accept that? And if I'm trying to convert you... Uh, Yes, there we go. We're just going to try and convert this guy. He's Catholic right now, but we're going to raise him in our traditions. All right. The new Duke of East Franconia is hopefully going to play ball with us. So uh, put all that together and there's a little, little bit of an uprising going on, but he seems to be doing very well at dealing with that. I like this guy. This guy's a flipping beast. 51 in prowess. That's... Is that the highest I've ever seen? Because it might be, you know. I'm not sure even Ilva was that high. Oh, I see the French coming. Is that all the armies they've got? That's... That's actually more army than what they've got. Possibly that's their allies. No, it's not because it's got their shield on it. Okay, that's literally more troops than you're supposed to have. But whatever. Let's just go down over here. With my cannons, I can siege faster than they can counter siege. So... They're welcome to try and take this back. Because that's going to take them 10 months. This siege is going to take me one month. So I'm going to be able to take over literally all of France. Before they wrap up, you know, a single flipping siege. And also, hang on, are we, uh, are we capturing people by any chance? And yes, yes we are. We should definitely... Well, I want money. I'm going to be needing money. You're not coming out without at least some money, you stupid bastards. 
And a handful more French troops are just starting to uh, trickle in. How's the war going versus the, the nudists, by the way? Right, you're losing that too. Good, France is being picked apart, which is uh, perfect, just perfect. That's still going to take you uh, eight months, but yeah, you've got... You do have a breach in the walls, but I'm already up to uh, 14 days, uh, then 12. Yeah, we're both on 12-day cycles, but my cannons... Uh, I should hopefully have a major breach before you. There's the large breach. So now we're making progress much, much faster. So that's 68% and uh, we should uh, be just absolutely uh, fine. Right, there's Sable. Though unfortunately, it looks like these territories are too well guarded to be automatically taken. Uh, right, get over here. Hunt them down. Uh, do what you can. Do we actually have a, uh, a fast commander? I really need an organizer. An organizer would be... Uh, very welcome, but we just don't seem to have one of them right now. Right, chase them off before they knacker the... No, 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 over in this direction, please. Uh, chase them off before they knacker the control at all, because I'm pretty sure right now the control should be... Uh... Wait, hang on. John, you don't... You don't own this territory. You don't need to worry about control. But yes, would you believe uh, my troops are going to be kicking a lot of flipping ass? We just captured uh, the mayor and a few other people and... Ooh! Did you just say uh, the leader of... Uh... You're actually the flipping leader of... Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, you say we captured this guy. I don't actually seem to have captured him. Right, possibly grandmasters can't be kept in prison. So, uh, we've got this guy, who's presumably of the same area. Okay, you, my friend, look pretty bloody Christian. How do you feel about, you know, converting to my religion? Because I feel like you should. You can go if you do. There you go. That just entertains me. You're a mayor, though. You can pay me money. Right, enforce my demands. And France is looking uh, very, uh, very weak right now. This is... Uh, okay, I can't have this. So, uh, who wants to have it instead? Ooh, yes. Now, definitely be having the, uh, the duchy as well. That we can have. Uh, to be honest, actually, we do have uh, the Duchess of Brittany right here. To be honest, I feel like you could actually have this. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to give this straight over to you. You've been doing a good job. You've got some children going on. You seem competent. I like you. You can just have, like, literally all of this. Enjoy. And you can have the Petty Kingdom too, because that gives you the right to go over here and... Ooh, hang on. I don't really want her to have that right. She might attack the nudists and... Uh... Oh, well. Hopefully, uh, she won't. And France is down to... Oh, dear. France is down to Nafal. Good, 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 good. France is in a lot of trouble. That's precisely what we wanted to say. Soldiers back up to strength. This is all looking, uh, this is looking excellent. In fact, you know what? I think it might be time for some more upgrades here. Do we still have the bows, by the way? No, we got rid of the bows. And we've also got intrigue. Oh, this is, uh, this is getting somewhere. Digging for dirt. Find secrets is not my favourite thing, but kidnapper is kind of hilarious. So uh, let's just move in that direction. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. We are going to boost this up to maximum size. One full stack of 12 Huskals. Going to take a few months to come back together. The levies took a bit of a knackering too. Uh, just let the economy recover for a moment. And then, uh, oh, this is, uh, this is starting to look good. Okay, what have you guys got? You guys have got 11,000 uh, and also... Uh, Another 2,000 there, and also another 600 there. It's going to be a bit more expensive, but we could start knackering this lot too. Especially as, uh, I bet Lithuania would just love, love this territory. Though, de jure, it's... Oh, it's miles out of what you're supposed to have, but whatever. Oh, hello, sexy. Now I'm a witch, I can... Uh, I can found a coven. Oh, oh, well, this is... This is 100% what we need to do. So, uh, okay. All children will just become witches. Uh, which is good, because witches have plus 20 with other witches. It just means our family are going to love each other. Because we're all one great big witchy family. So, uh, okay. I am the house head. Uh, yes, at least one of these. Uh, Odd Gren has the title witch. Odd Gren has... Uh, ah, I'm guessing that means I need to, uh, yes, educate my... Uh, my heir as a witch. So, oh. 60% of the members need to be witches. Alright, so I can understand how, yes, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be difficult to, um, 
to do, yes. Founding a university, though, that's possible, so we're either founding... Ah, we're founding Oxford or Cambridge. I mean, that's pretty cheap. Okay, hang on. Development needs to be 40. So what's going on down over here? Oxford's development is 31. Meanwhile, Cambridge, their development is going to be... Oh, 38. Oh, I don't want to set up Cambridge. It's like Oxford, but worse in every conceivable way. It sucks. Um... Oh, but it is much more developed. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to set up Cambridge because it's the first university we've ever set up, which means it's going to be dreadful. We're going to make loads of mistakes and we're going to use those mistakes to make Oxford better than Cambridge, as it is in real life. Though seriously, what the hell have you guys been doing down over here in Oxford? This is, uh, this is not, oh bloody hell. Right, I'm not going to deny, this guy's been doing a much better job setting up Cambridge, yes. Okay, so development is just slowly ticking up here. If we need that, then yes, I can actually help that out because I've got King Frederick here. So, uh, you, my friend, uh, I would like you to boost development. So get over here and sort that out. It's going to take him uh, 21 months to get that moving in the right direction. And uh, it's going to start ticking up a lot faster by itself. So, uh, okay. If we're lucky, once he's done with that, that's going to boost it by one, just by virtue of him doing the job, and also maybe another one at the same time, because he's also just uh, boosting it by being there. So, uh, everything's going to be fine, I'm sure. Except, hang on, am I double counting the same thing there? I might be, I'm not sure how it works, I'll need to keep an eye on that. Right, he may have a fair few troops, but we can definitely handle this, even though it will cost us a bit. So, uh, let's get after Pomerania 2. Uh, so, I believe there's a duchy... Uh, Oh, that's really not much, is it? That doesn't get us uh, much at all. This is... Uh, I mean, that gets us a lot more. That gets us an awful lot more. So, uh, it's going to leave this country in odd shape. But screw it. That's going to be just fine. Yes, get it over there. Lovely. Going to need a fair few more troops for all of this nonsense, unfortunately. So, just pull everybody together. We're going to need a good 15,000, 20,000 for this. Is that going to be... Uh, Enough, by the way. That's going to be something like... Hang on, there's... Okay, that's 21,000. That's probably enough, given I've actually got, yes, some really, really good men-at-arms these days. Now, I see there 15,000 right there. I'm pretty confident I have got the commander advantage. Bring them all together. Pull them all into one massive mega army. Are they actually coming to attack me? I've got 22,000 right there. Merge everyone. We do, of course, have Philip Lokes. And just check if there's any other commanders starting to uh, come through. Ah! We do have this ludicrous, mighty stallion of a man. But yeah, he's actually much better as a, a champion. But if we do need to ford some water, then again, Loki Philipson can do that too. I'm so sorry, my friend. You're not actually that useful, in terms of commanding at least. Right, that's going to take two months. They do seem to be sort of marching in this direction. But are they just going for... Ah, they might just be going for Lithuania. So we can just go and uh, kill them in a moment, especially as they do seem to be sort of uh, splitting up. So that kind of works for me. My cannons are working very well. And sorry, is his, is his name King Jeff? Is that who's running this area right now? No, sorry, King Jiri. I read that as King Jeff and I was amused. Right, all we need to do is, yeah, that's going to take him three months. This is going to be done momentarily. We're going to attack the 3,000. They probably try and reinforce. And that breaks the siege. And that really didn't get as much, did it? Right. Go over here. And we're going to see what happens next. Because he might well decide uh, to come and uh, assist his friends. And uh, yeah, he's going to try and get out of there. But it's too late. And yeah, he's going to try and reinforce. The AI loves... Flipping loves uh, reinforcing, which is a bad call. Because it means they just walk into, you know, fights that have already been lost. So now, uh, now I'm actually going to be the defender. And it should be, uh, oh yeah, and King Nils is just uh, ripping heads off. It's nice to have berserkers back, by the way. We do have some good berserkers back these days, which is lovely. And uh, ride some of them down there. And yeah, these days I've got way more in the way of um, cavalry. So let's just actually check the uh, the face here. Yeah, my light horseman just got a thousand kills uh, during the pursuit, which is pretty darn good, I'd say. That that is welcome. So now get back down over here. That is not that important. Just take the uh, 
Okay, does anyone know where the capital is? There's a capital of, like, something anyway. Just get down over there, sort that out. They are now badly, badly battered, and they're going to be retreating for a fair while anyway. Right, so they have now just... Oh, hang on, what just happened? They just got a bunch of troops back. I'm not sure whether they just hired some mercenaries or something, but... If so, I'm not too worried. There's now even fewer of them. Uh, we're going to start taking more and more land. Uh, they seem determined to attack Lithuania. But then I'm guessing that makes sense. Because uh, this is the bit of Lithuania they kind of supposed to own. But they just sort of don't. So, okay. Get over there. Intercept these guys if you can. Get after them. And uh, they're trying to get out. Can we get there in time? Uh, okay, you're trying to get over here. Now he's going to change his mind. And that means he now can't get away fast enough. I don't think anyway. And... Uh, there we go. Boom. Right. Another 10,000 dead right here. If we could capture their king, just to wrap this up right now, that'd be great. But this seems to be uh, well under control. Also, I keep forgetting to hire the Holy Order. Dear oh flippin' dear. Right. March in this direction in case that becomes a problem. And one of my factions is apparently... Uh, it's the Palabian Catholic Populists. Does anybody know what... What a Palabian is? Okay. From this county over... Over here... Where's that? That is... Okay, so some of the Catholics are kind of annoyed about, you know, the whole we're forcing them to become sexy situation. So that's fine. It's all under control. If they want to raise up, they're welcome to flipping try. All right. We can just send a handful of spare forces in that direction. No issue. No issue at all. Right, looks like they're going to try and counter siege. No. They're walking straight past that, in fact. Maybe over here instead. So if they want to do that, I'm going to make a bit of money. And I'm just going to take your capital. So if we're lucky, we might capture, like, you know, your heir or something. That'd be great if we could do that. Because, yeah, capturing an heir is pretty much the... Uh, that's the best of all worlds right there. Because uh, if you capture an heir, then all of a sudden you can convert them. Because they're not landed yet. Though uh, he's just brought in uh, friends, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Right, we might want to go and take care of them before they bring all this together. Otherwise, that could be uh, maybe a bit of a problem. Two days, one day, he's got a bit of money. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know what? We can handle that. Chase them off. Don't let them do that. But yeah, if they're going to start marching in this direction, uh, if they all come together, that's actually a bit of an issue. And uh, come on, see if we can just get round over here. Chase them down. I've got... Uh, I don't have an organizer. That's annoying. Then again, these guys are now... Uh, they're heading north. Okay. Head in this direction. See if we can just catch them at some point. And there's 1,000 odd. And I don't know who we're about to be fighting. It's it's somebody. We're about to fight somebody. Okay. Seems to be going pretty well in my favor. And still going well in my favor. And... Oh, yeah. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. Bit of maiming. Bit of killing. Bit of capturing. My counselor... Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Low-key, we were literally mid-battle, and it wasn't even from the fight. It was from flipping old age, all right? He was actually in the middle of a fight, kicking the ass of Catholics, and uh, it wasn't the flipping fight that killed him. He just died of natural causes during a battle. That's how badass he was. Uh, okay, who's the new uh, king of Estonia in that case? So, uh, King Loki the Third. it worked for them last time, but unfortunately he's... Uh, oh, dear. He's not the man his father was, is he? Still, we do have a good replacement standing by. Because, yes, King Armbjorn MacJedward, uh, he's actually ready to step in. He'll do a really good job. He wants this job anyway, so this is honestly, uh, this is kind of fine. So, he can have that job. And to be honest, my friend, uh, how powerful are you really? Not very, and I'm pretty sure we've got... Yes, the Duke of Angria kind of feels like he ought to have this job. And uh, he would do a better job of it. So, uh... Yeah, that's actually fine. We're going to swap him in. That's actually going to speed up this process a little bit too, which is great. So, okay, this is uh, this is all going very well, though. I am kind of sad that poor Loki the Second died, especially as Loki the Third appears to be just kind of dreadful. And don't forget, we actually do need a champion now. So, uh, I mean, okay, what are you? Open terrain expert, 26, or... All right, you know what? You, my friend, the Duke, the mighty mountain of a man, you can get over there and sort this out. So just, yeah, smash these 8,000 to everything's going to be a-okay. Oh, and we've got a new perk too. Yes, here we go. 
Kidnapper. Brand new scheme we've never seen before in this playthrough. So now, I can just point at someone and say, you know what? He looked really, really good in my dungeon. And uh, I can't help but wonder whether, yes, I know precisely who ought to be uh, abducted first. Which is, yes, as I was just saying, unlanded heirs. Now, they have got to be good flipping candidates right there. So you, uh, you, my friend, how easy would it be to, you know, uh, abduct you? 8%. Okay. It's gonna be difficult, because he's in a foreign realm. But, job done right. Intrigue. Minimum chance 5%. It'll take time, but if it pays off, then... Okay. What can we do uh, to boost this here? Alright, let's just... Let's line up all of our ducks. So, uh, okay. Spy master. Support my schemes. Uh, wife. Support my schemes, okay? That's a giant pile of extra intrigue right there. That all works in my favour. Alright, so let's just get straight back over to you. Uh, abduct you again. Now we're up to 29%. And bear in mind, uh, I can toss money at this scheme to increase its chance of succeeding. So, uh, okay, I will be exposed for the crime of kidnapping. I'm going to be honest, I think I've done worse things in the eyes of Catholicism already. So, uh, it's probably fine. Let's kick that off and just see whether I can, you know, uh, bribe that scheme to be a little bit more effective as time goes by. Who could we maybe... Aha! Now, this is going to be all very, very useful indeed. Uh, some people uh, might be uh, convincible. How much money? 225. Done. Flipping. Done. So... Uh, you, my friend, you're going to be potentially brought straight on board. Everything's going to be uh, lovely. In fact, you are so powerful. You might be enough. This duke is basically just going to help me uh, get this kid uh, straight out. And uh, there we go, up to 85%. Oh, my. Oh, my money makes the world go round. i tell you what, how much to convince you? 150, do it. All right, so just get you on board too, and that should be once we get you on board. Okay, 85% there. You didn't actually do anything, to be honest, but, I mean, this is looking pretty positive. This is looking pretty positive. We're going to get ourselves the flipping heir of Aquitaine. If we can just convert them, force them to convert. Well, 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 life might suddenly start looking very sexy indeed. There's another bit of land, by the way. Uh, who do we want to uh, murder next? You seem to be getting along pretty well with all of your sieging. So how about we just go and chase you off? Yeah, you better flipping run. Right, listen, we've just about caught them on the way back. So just get over here and uh, apparently they're going to do surprisingly well. But we have got enough numbers to just beat the heck out of them. We've captured their capital. You are not able to do anything. This is fine. This is all absolutely... Oh, this is... This is spectacular, and someone's coming in to attack me. I mean, I won't say no, that's... That's the king. And... Okay, we captured King Not Jeff. Well, that's going to make life much easier. Right, enforce my demands. Thank you for that. So we've picked up a handful of uh, people. So that's all A-OK. -okay. Right, um, how are we going to make this area make sense? This is supposed to be Greater Poland. Okay, Greater Poland, someone's got it, and... Do I have this person in my prison by any chance? Uh, yes, I actually do. So that's nice. Uh, so yes, we're just going to be uh, having that, actually. Going to cost me another 250, but that's okay. Because we can now break down the army, which means we're going to start making money uh, very, very fast indeed. So okay, now I've got Greater Poland back, which is uh, marvellous. Who wants to have... Uh, I'm guessing he doesn't want to convert. Do you want to convert by any chance? Honestly, I'm amazed it says might. You know what? I've picked up some Scandinavian land here where I've just uh, inherited it. So uh, probably best I just, you know, uh, give that to somebody new. All right. Just, you know, a member of my family as could do with a bit of love, attention, something, something, something. Here we go. I've got a nephew, Brynolf, who is uh, pretty darn good, uh, all things considered. So uh, you, Brynolf, may have this and this and this. So you can have... Uh, all of that, 
And on top of that, Brunoff, no, no, I'm not done showering you with goodies just yet. I am also going to give you the duchy title, because I'm nice like that. So, Petty Kingdom of Greater Poland. And he just inherits all of those vassals uh, with it. So, uh, good. Congratulations. And we also captured a whole bunch of countesses and whatnot. So, uh, all of you may go for money. Okay, so that's left uh, Pomerania looking... Uh, yeah, divided and nowhere near as strong as they once were. And, uh, okay, so Nana's come of age. But don't get excited. She was always the useless one. Because she didn't inherit anything good. She was a bastard. Can't inherit. She's not very good at anything. She's greedy. She's a coward. She's callous. Okay, you can just go. Ah, uh, yes, but don't forget, we've got a bunch of young children who are now old enough that we're starting to understand their personality. So, uh... You are charming. Diplomacy or intrigue. To be honest, you're about the same at both. So, uh, let's maybe go for... Right now you're on... Uh, hmm. What do I want to give you? I feel like... Yes, let's go for diplomat. We haven't had many diplomats recently. So, let's uh, get you set up in that regard. Here we go. One of my beautiful... Hang on, you're not even... That's not the right education. Yes, one of my other concubines may handle that. Lovely. Then there's Margarita, who is curious. So, uh, again, learning or diplomacy. Looks to me like, yeah, learning's going to be the right focus for you, Margarita. And honestly, who could possibly do a better job training you than me myself? I shall raise baby Margarita. Then there is young Prince Torbjorn Odson. So he's looking... Okay. Interesting. Either treasury or fighting. Now, right now, it looks like, yeah, base of zero versus base of one. So, uh, to be honest, he's leaning towards, yeah, he's leaning more towards stewardship. That appears to be the direction. And finally, Princess Disappointment, who I guess we should bother educating in case, you know, somehow pleasantly surprises me. So, diplomacy for you. Right, back to my scheme here. So, uh, 85%, so plus 122 from agents, job done right, spymaster, intrigue, still 85. Could we maybe find someone a little bit more interested in joining? Yeah, that's that's just 100. We're going to get you on board, that's all absolutely fine, just wait for her to uh, be on board there. It appears to be capping, and ah, John, it says uh, max 85, it's on screen, Right now. So abduction, yes, now has a maximum chance on it. So, okay, we've got the agents we need. In fact, to be honest, he was probably all the agent we needed already, but whatever. Oh, and here's fun. I think there's a new ruler of the Holy Roman Empire, possibly because I embarrassed the last one so much, he just kind of got, uh, got rid of. And I believe uh, we would be allowed to attack him right now. And uh, oh, yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. What is, uh, what's going on here precisely? Because it looks to me like, hang on, your oh, orthodoxy is realised. Uh, oh yeah, they've spotted the flipping opportunity here. And if I just go over here and capture, yes, the Duchy of Frisia, then it kind of feels in a slightly obscure roundabout via sea way, uh, like I've just, you know, uh, reunited uh, the flipping empire, all right? We've brought the parts back together. This is going to be... Uh, Oh, yeah. At that point, we own the North Sea. All right. The North Sea Empire will have been formally recreated as far as I'm concerned. Unless, of course, you've got... Okay, we've got plenty of flipping claims that we could push. Does anyone have, like, you know, any really exciting claims? Because it uh, doesn't really like... Actually, that one's not bad. Remember that guy's got those claims. That's... That's a good amount of claims. Uh, hang on. What are your claims precisely? That's... Oh, you've got so many claims. Okay, that's, I mean, that's basically a big old giant pile of, of everything. I mean, I wasn't thinking we were going to be going that far south, but, okay, he's 49, he can wait. All right, I want to take this bit of coast first. And yeah, it's literally just these three counties. I don't really even expect resistance. To be honest, he's kind of got his own stuff going on, so... Uh, we just march in, take this, ticking war score does the rest. And the bloody faithful aren't available again. They're always in such bloody demand. Oh, and hello, Saxony. 
we've got a guest, Torbjorn, who is a logistics and organizer. You, my friend, 10 gold. Okay, now you, you're welcome to stay. You may not be an expert at sieging or anything, but yeah, you can move fast. Oh yeah, you are, you're what I flipping want. And okay, Havel is within reach. We are going to get in, we're going to get back out again, and 85%, my abduction plan will be revealed, everyone will know I did this. I don't care, okay, except 15% chance I'm discovered. Ah, so I get discovered whatever, but 85% I get this kid. Oh, we got him. We flipping got him. Okay, so we've now got, oh, oh my boy. My boy, my boy, my boy. Alright, you... You're the heir to everything. And uh, I'm guessing... Let's just check the uh, the rules here. This is male preference. Oh, it's house seniority. Okay, that's surprising, but whatever. Okay, well, this is uh, this is fine. All right, so uh, we've picked up a Torbjorn. We like him. This kid's got skills. But more importantly, uh, you, my friend. Let's see if this actually, uh, this actually works. Because, uh, oh, yeah. He's already an adult right there. So uh, we're just going to be... Uh, he won't accept the hook, but he'll accept the conversion. Okay, so now now he's going to leave. And uh, hopefully he gets to keep being like the heir or something. Yeah, he's still the heir. He's still the heir because the rules say he's the heir. And that means uh, you, my friends, you need to go down right now before you do anything stupid, like finding a new air, say, and oh, this is, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Right, so we're already at flipping 95% because uh, for whatever reason, a whole bunch of Catholics are just, yep, yeah, you know what? We want him dead too. That's fine. How's the, the siege going, by the way? Oh, we've already won. Okay, we should probably move on in that case. And oh, this area is Badly underdeveloped, by the way. Still, the flipping supply is going to last forever under uh, oh dear, who just died. No, my really good spy mistress. She was actually really good. Okay. It could uh, be Nils. All right. He is, uh, he is well qualified. Uh, me and him do get on with each other. All right. The alternative is, uh, yeah, just some random nobody. Again, which is probably not a bad call. Yeah, they're fine with me. We're just going to put the most competent person in play. Because they are literally supporting my murder schemes right now. That's 95-95. We might be able to get more people on board. And Seriously, I don't know what your problem is. But you just keep backing all of the schemes. I like you. In fact, you know what? Actually, we might want to speed this up a bit. This guy's going to add uh, scheme power. Yeah, you know what? Bribe him again. Just send him more money. Okay, get him on board. Let's see if we can get this done faster. The faster it's done, the better. And okay, I'm going to be honest. I thought that was going to speed it up. But okay, whatever. We've now got redundant extra agents. It's fine. Oh, and here's exciting. I think we're ready to go. Yes, we get to found a university. It's not a very good university because it's in Cambridge, but... We can do it. All right, there we go. And now, Odd shall not be known as Odd the Evil. He should be known as Odd the Scholar. And to be honest, that's... I mean, that's fair. I mean, really, when you think about it, he has not been that evil, okay? He has instead been kind of morally neutral, and he has been very clever. I could see this guy setting up a university. So this is... Uh, that is marvellous. So, uh... Cambridge gains a special building slot for university. I become the scholar and apparently we've got to choose how to set it up. So, okay, apparently I think we just uh, won a siege by the way. So just uh, keep moving in this direction. I assume that's the... Oh yeah, there's not much going on here. Right, back over to Cambridge, which should have... Does anyone know where the special slot is? There it is! Sorry, I was looking at the wrong bloody bit of Cambridge. Right, so, 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 so. University, 750 gold, uh, development growth up, and uh, holder of this holding gains. Okay, so it doesn't actually, it doesn't really help me. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I was kind of assuming this was going to help me. When it says holder, like, 
This guy is just some random nobody. They don't really want to help him, but... I mean, okay, we can't do it yet. We can't afford it then again. I say we can't afford it. Um, we might have some prisoners who people might be willing to, uh, pay for their return. That'd be great, potentially. Oh, and the Grand Temple of Zealand has been completed. Oh, this is, this is lovely. Right, everything, everything is doing very, very well here. So, uh, that there, holder of this holding, that is me. Even more renown, even more knight effectiveness. My knight should now be up to, uh, what, like 200% by default, I think. 185, so, uh, uh, yep, yeah, you know what, I'll take it, I kind of thought it was going to be, uh, 200, but it's still pretty good. And this guy is still the heir to everything, and he is still sexy. He is gout-ridden and depressed, but his health is, uh, is fine. Okay, you need to start having children, alright? Children of the right religion, please. And seriously, this army is still at 83 supply. So, yes, for very, very long, stupid campaigns. Uh, who's this, by the way? Uh, you're joining in with... Oh, okay. Flipping Aquitaine's coming in to, to help out with... Right, that's actually... That's 15,000 troops. Okay, that's actually maybe a bit of a concern. We need to uh, consider maybe bringing more troops in uh, to deal with that. And... Uh, one of my prisoners is just dying. And um, prisoner... Okay, more people, more people, more people. Okay, 15%. But now I should have a ticking war score. Because I now hold, uh, yeah, the objective. Problem is, I don't know where Aquitaine is. And how did you even join this war? Oh, that's a good alliance, yeah. So the Holy Roman Empire sort of uh, panicked and brought in uh, the Aquitanians. But... Oh... Oh, 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 oh. I think, potentially, if we just play the timer, things might be about to uh, change, actually. Things might be about to change very nicely in my favour. Just keep a really close eye out along the coast here, because we might need to... Oh, hang on, was that? Okay, agents are just joining my murder scheme, which is brilliant. Now, uh, do we want to gain progress on the scheme, or... Okay, ah, I could add that to apparently uh, my own castle. So that's nice. Uh, tunnel we can use. Game progress. I mean, this doesn't seem to have like, you know, any form of... Right, I'm just choosing whether I want the benefit. No, 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 no. Progress the scheme, please. Progress the flipping scheme. Keep on keeping on. Keep taking more territory. This war's being a bit slow, to be honest, but I'm sure it's fine. There's 24%. Keep on moving down, please. Just, you know, mop up all of this. Do the Aquitanians have anything else to do? Oh, the Aquitanians are kind of busy. Okay, they've got their own thing going on as well, because they've been pulled into uh, this stupid war against, yeah, some of the vassals of the Byzantines. So uh, they might not be coming for me directly. I say this, you know, oh, 95%. Just, okay, before we prove this, check that Prince Havel's still the heir. Okay, here we go. And, and, and. How? How did you survive? Bloody hell. Right, okay. We need to start a new murder scheme. This is annoying. That almost works. Okay, 11 months, it'll be fine. Done. I thought we could just end this war in one stroke. By, aha, I found you. Uh, but you're pretty fresh off the boats right now. Right, get over here. Uh, track them down. So there's 7,000 and 7,000. By the time I get there, unfortunately. Oh, we've got shifting interests. And aha, young Jedward, who I'm actually... Yes, I'm his guardian. He's now nine. So, okay, Jedward, how are you getting on right now? And uh, Adelbart tried to push him over. Whoever that is, some dumb kid. And he's spindly. Just push him back. Ah, then again, the moment didn't last long, and it's an entirely new game. Forgot everything immediately. So, uh, okay, right now, Prince Jedward is fickle. So, okay, we could keep that, but if we're giving him the, uh, yeah, the learning education... Hmm. Do I want him to be fickle? Honestly, losing stewardship for one diplomacy. Okay, or accept stress for... Wrathful. Okay, Wrathful is hardly... Uh, I mean, it's virtuous to us, to the Sextants. 
But it does mean, well then again, Marshall plus three. Marshall isn't really where his skill seems to lie. Or forgiving. So diplomacy up and learning up too. I mean, to be honest, I kind of feel like that kind of works for a learning education and for a kid who seems to have a natural aptitude. Then again, it's not really aptitude. It's the fact he's uh, he's beautiful. So, uh, yeah, base of six versus base of four. Actually, it's pretty good natural aptitude too. Okay, he is going to become forgiving, even though it's going to stress me out. And that's a sin. Okay, that's literally a sin. In our religion. Sorry, forgot about that. Oh, we should really get a better commander in play, by the way, for the actual fighting. And, oh dear, you're busy with your own wars, are you? Right, um, send in the Queen of Lapland. She's 31, so that should be A-OK. -okay. Get over here and... Uh, Alright, now get over in this direction. And now you're trying to flee. And, okay, now you're going to try and reinforce. But by the time you actually arrive, we should have, yeah, basically won. So you've made a really bad decision there. If we could just capture the King of Aquitaine, we can put him to death. Capture him, capture him, capture him, capture him, capture him. We didn't capture him. Okay, that's fine. He's going to die at some point, 59%. Okay, now, now we're making some good progress. And to be honest, the biggest force that was any threat to us uh, has been taken care of. So just start moving down south through this territory. We'll just basically follow them down south. Everything's under control. Just keep an eye on Aquitaine because uh, if they find a way to shuffle... They found a way to shuffle it! Oh, they executed him! No! Wait, no, he was... He was slain in battle by... We just killed him. We just killed him in battle. Oh, that's painful. Okay, who's the new bloody heir of everything? Okay, it's Prince Rajmund. So, uh, we need to go and get him now. Okay, he needs to be abducted before we murder the king. So, just, just get working on that. Oh, he's even flipping harder to take out because... Uh, Oh, because I'm at war with his liege, which, yes, unfortunately, uh, makes things difficult to do. We may as well get it started. We may as well kick it off, because this war will be over in the not-too-distant future. So, uh, just keep on keeping on like that, and then you're over here. Not sure, and then you're going to try and flee out to sea. Nah, chase him off. Don't let him get away. We might be able to capture the king if we're lucky, and... Uh, Get on over here. Yep. And then if we're lucky, we can capture him. There we go. If we can get the king. Actually, if we get the king, we just sort of we just sort of keep him for a bit. And now we've captured the king. Okay. You just stay there for a bit. Oh, but then if I have to... I have to release him in order to... Wait. Who's... Then if I end the war... Actually, he's not the main... The main war leader. Okay, you just stay in prison for a bit. Okay, in fact, you know, I kind of want you to... Uh, how much would you be willing to pay for your release? For a favour? Right, you're very bankrupt. You just stay in there for now, okay? Because we need to abduct your son before you can go, ideally. And... Alright, so escape routes. And pay money to, yes, get mapped surrounding. And then, very good chance everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. Or, abandon idea, explore the forest myself. Not really my specialization. Just pay a hunter. And she was discreet. Good. Good, 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 good. Also, why are we just standing here right now? Get back over to, like, you know, a territory where there's a thing happening. And siege it down, please. Thank you. Aha! And the new King of Ireland is available. 19 Commander and also Siege Specialist. That will do. That will do uh, very nicely. Just a handful more. Haven't even seen the Imperials yet. Factions targeting me have disbanded. Peasants don't even flipping dare rise up against me. And I can't flipping blame them under the circumstances. Is my spy master still on? Yes, everyone's still on supporting me in the murder plan. You get over here. 92%. Yeah, that's ticking up right now. In fact, this might be enough to, uh, to do it. 100%. Good. Now, unfortunately, if I enforce my demands, I'm guessing I'm going to be releasing uh, the King of Aquitaine, which is kind of annoying. And yeah, we've won a bit of money right there. 
Is he still in prison? No, we get to keep him. Because he wasn't the main... Oh. Well. Well, 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 well. Now, we just need to... Where's the lad? Okay, there's somebody who we can bribe. Get literally everybody on board. Okay, unfortunately, where's... Do what happened to the lad who was really good at all this nonsense? Bribe everybody. Okay, I want everybody on board. 137. Done. Done, 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 done. You're probably cheap, right? 137. Yeah, get everybody on board, basically. 110, fine. Just pay all of them. All right, I want agents. 85, good. So we're back up to 85%. That's going to be done in eight months. You need to live eight months, okay? This is going to be... This is going to go fine. What's going to happen is we're going to kidnap him, we're going to convert him, and then straight after that point, uh, you get put to death. Can we move him to... Okay, he's under house arrest. How's his health, by the way? His health is fine, because he's really healthy. Okay, this is A-OK. -okay. We just need him to not die. By the way, the rest of you can, like, go home uh, for money, because it's possible that... Oh, hang on. John, 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 don't do that. Don't do that, all right, because release them for... Okay, I've kind of already offered to release them for money. Instead, uh, release you... Oh, you're the Count of Frisia. You would have been able... I could have used your favour. You don't need it, John. You're already 85%. I could have saved some money by just releasing some of these people, though. Still, I guess the rest of you could just go home for money. That's fine. Also, apparently, I've just been drugging my prisoners as part of my chemical experiment. So, I mean, okay, scheme power plus one, hostile scheme power plus five. All right, this is... Ooh, but... Risky experimental poisons... Another intrigue. What potentially goes wrong here? Okay, uh, who's this guy? He's... Uh, oh, my brother-in-law and champion. Oh, he's not my prisoner. I've just been experimenting on people in my court. If I kill him, then potentially he loses 50 opinion because... But he's also dead. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to use the basic because I don't want to risk becoming... Uh, a kin slayer. Then again, he's not... He's not kin. It's my brother... Brother-in-law. That would be... That would be murder, right? You know what? Just... Just the basic poisons is fine. That's gonna help out with that. We don't need to be any stronger. Ransoms have been accepted across the board. More money if you'd be so kind. We need money to found Cambridge University. Uh, I mean, you know, I know it doesn't look like it needs it. But yeah, apparently we do actually need to like, you know, pay money or something. So whatever. Uh, okay, everything's everything's fine. It's all fine. I think we could create Cambridge with like, you know, 100 gold. I don't think we really need uh, this whole, you know, 750. But the game says we do. Disrupt schemes effectiveness, yes. Just keep moving towards twice schemed. Because uh, then you can have two hostile schemes going at once. Which is uh, very bloody helpful. Also, what happened to all this, by the way? Oh, we just sort of inherited uh, this guy. Would you like to convert? He doesn't want to convert. Okay. Uh, would you like some money? There's some money. How do you feel about me? How do you feel about me now? 50-50. Give it a go. We'll see how he decides to go. Because I'm way more learned than him. So he might... Darn it. Right, so he's not thrilled. Okay. We're not running a personal scheme right now. Just start swaying him. We'll get him on board sooner or later. But yeah, more importantly, I'd say we've now got the whole North Sea. This is, this is good. And... Uh, Oh, you're looking in terrible shape, my friend. The Holy Roman Empire may still be big, but I feel like its back has been uh, broken here. Okay, the king's in prison. He's not getting out anytime soon. It's fine. We just need to uh, kidnap his son, convert him, and then we immediately kill the king. So you become the new king as a beautiful, beautiful, sexy person. And uh, are we ready to go? What are we doing here? So the scheme could gain messenger pigeon... Plus 10 to chance succeed. I think it's already maxed out because it can't go above what it is. So, uh, okay. I'd say it's too risky. We're fine. We don't need to take risks here. Everything is uh, under control. We're working on swaying at you. That's two months away. Uh, please, uh, just get this guy. Okay, we just need to get this guy. By the way, am I actually, like, um, officially a kidnapper? No, I'm a witch. But, like, maybe it's a secret. Is it a secret? No, it's not a secret. The game said I was going to be known as a kidnapper, but I'm not sure, like, how precisely. 
And here we go. It's time. Let's try this again. And we've got him. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now. Now, now, now. This time, all in one go, you, my friend, are the heir to everything. Okay. And that means we're going to negotiate your release. Oh, and he's even better. He'll take conversion and a weak hook. So uh, we're just going to release you out into the wild. In fact, wait, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. If I convert him and then recruit him and then give him a tiny bit of land and then he inherits the kingdom, but he was already my... Oh. Oh my. Oh flipping my, this is... Okay. Life is potentially about to start getting very, very interesting indeed. Right, I'm going to recruit him into my court, which he's willing to go for. He won't accept the, um, the hook though. So uh, he's going to become sexy and he's going to start working for me, despite the fact that he is the heir to everything. And as soon, the moment he accepts, okay, wait, he is still, he's still the heir to everything. And now what we're going to do is we're going to give you a, a bit of land. I am going to give you uh, right here the County of Holland. You, my friend, are now, uh, yeah, working for me, the Earl or whatever of Holland. Uh, congratulations. Okay, so he now works for me. I am officially his liege. He is landed. Then we just go over to the prison, find the king, and you, my friend, just get immediately killed. And if I've... Uh, if I've got this right, if I've got this right, as soon as we just uh, put you the flip down, then at that point, hang on, what's, what's going on here, king? Okay, so that, that didn't go entirely to plan, that, that didn't, didn't quite work, actually. I mean, okay, there are bits of it that did work. Like, for example, the fact that uh, this guy is now the king of a mighty, mighty territory. In fact, like, several kingdoms, uh, and he doesn't have any children yet. And if we're very lucky, he might decide to, you know, tell his wife to convert to his brand new religion. Okay, so we've lost, we've lost a tiny bit of Holland, kind of by accident. Okay, that's, that's fine. I kind of got that a little bit, a uh, little bit wrong and backwards here, but... We have now got flipping sexy Aquitaine, okay? And hopefully, if we're very, very lucky indeed, that's going to start flowing downwards. Oh, this is, this is beautiful. This is just absolutely flipping beautiful. And France is looking basically ready to collapse. Just hang on, is it safe to click on you guys? Yep, we're still safe with the nudists. They're doing absolutely fine too. This is... Uh, this is beautiful. You've got Naffle. Aquitaine's now potentially a, a friend. In fact, you know what? Sir. Good sir. Oh, you don't have any... Uh, you haven't got any siblings or any children. I need you to start having children now. Okay? Because uh, as soon as you have children, I am marrying them over to me. We are having an alliance with sexy Aquitaine. All right? That's what we're flipping doing. Right, economy does actually to um, slightly recover for a second, by the way. Economy is in a slightly uh, dubious uh, shape right now. But this is, oh, this is beautiful. This is just so damn beautiful. This is working uh, so sexily right now. Oh, plus 72. Plus 70 flipping two. Right, it's time to invest. It's time to flipping invest. All right, I know I've just given away Holland kind of by um, accident. So we're going to get some better stuff going on here. How about, yeah, some flipping homesteads over here next to Zealand. And don't forget, all of my cities up here as well. We're going to be getting some more stuff over in this part of the world. Better and better farms. Keep investing. Keep... Oh, this is... I can't believe what well, I kind of pulled that off. I mean, it kind of went wrong, I'll admit, because we sort of didn't need to lose Holland. But... It still kind of worked. I think that would have worked in Crusader Kings 2, right? I think the rules might have changed, because I swear that would have worked in Crusader Kings 2. Also, I just remembered I'm allied with Scotland, who I've been repeatedly failing to call into my wars, so uh, sorry about that. Right, and one last quickie, 
We're off cooldown with France, so sorry, France. I'm having a bit more off you as well. In fact, oh, that's that's a good solid amount of land. That's like half of what France has left. Oh, war's going pretty nicely, but we did just lose a, a councillor, the former former king of Lithuania, who was ah, oh, you were the amazing chancellor. Ah, oh, that's a shame. You were so good at your job. Okay, who feels like they deserve a job? Nils, once again, the king of flipping mediocrity. Alternatively, there is my incredibly beautiful girlfriend, who is apparently the most qualified person for the job. So, uh, yeah, you know what? We'll go for her. And once again, you just focus on uh, domestic affairs. That will be just fine. Ah, uh, yes, I am also supposed to be raising Margarita. So, uh, okay, she came to complain Charlotte is apparently bullying her. Well, Charlotte shouldn't be bullying her too effectively. That's prowess of six versus... Uh, Okay, your prowess is better. Just beat the hell out of her. And right now she's an arbitrary. Okay, what does that actually mean? That's bad for learning, which is what you're supposed to be, you know, good at. So, uh, okay, Craven, no. Definitely not. Or lazy, which is... Right, I guess you just keep that then, given all the options are terrible. And, oh, the Holy Order is expanding. Again, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I'm loving it. Wow, that's... That is nice. 150. Then these are... They're 100. That's 300. That's... Wow. That's a lot. Right there. That's... Oh, I love it. Five flipping thousand heavily armoured horse and foot. It's it's just gorgeous. Back to Jedward, meanwhile, who, yes, we accidentally made um, forgiving, which is kind of maybe a bit unfortunate. And, uh, okay, he's ambitious, which is pretty good. Or alternatively, uh, we could make him uh, sadistic. That kind of feels like that goes against the whole forgiving thing. Or paranoid. No, he can keep ambitious. Ambitious is good. Uh, okay, this is... Uh, this could be of interest. He might be all right. Oh, and we've got the money. Hang on, back over to, uh, to Cambridge. Oh, hang on, are you... You're still just making Cambridge. Uh, right, maybe go back over to collecting taxes. Sorry, I kind of forgot I just left you in... In Cambridge, actually. My mistake. So. Did. Did I already fund that? Because apparently it's. Someone's already. Okay. I think possibly he chose to set up the university by himself. Because I swear I hadn't said yes to that yet. And. Oh dear. Right. Um. Yes. We've got a guest who's uh, very sick. Isolate her. And uh, hope. Is basically the plan right now. Uh, maybe just wrap up this war as soon as you like. Please. Uh, 95%. Then just get over here. Murder these guys. One more victory. It should hand us 100%. Then we can have a bit more land right over here. Lovely. Capture the king if you feel like it. There's a bit of wounding. You didn't bother showing up in armor or anything. And uh, we captured... Uh, Whole bunch of people actually so that's nice right so you can just uh yeah we'll be having all of that too that's lovely don't really want to any of it for myself which is which is fine because we didn't get it we just apparently uh inherit you whoever you are precisely um would you like some money and then to like convert to like my religion or something no she's not she's not really keen Okay, we'll get working on you. Who are we actually uh, trying to sway uh, right now? Oh, it's this guy as well who also bloody hates me. Okay, maybe what we do instead is just transfer her. Then again, uh, need to convert her. She'll come round sooner or later. It'll be fine. Right, and just start tossing down, yes, inventions and whatnot. This needs to be... Ah, this needs to be a keep. That's fine. Get a keep into production. Uh, let's just start getting... Uh, yes, buildings. Just get buildings down everywhere and anywhere. Oh, but here we go. The first true child uh, has come of age. Prince Odd Odson is now 16. And uh, let's see how he turned out. So, he picked up level 3 diplomats. Okay, so this is Odd Odson, age 16. He was never the best candidate in many ways. He's not, he's not terrible, but you know, you can't deny, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure many of his childhood flipping siblings are much, much better than that. So that's no, I'm sorry, Odd Odson. You tried your best, but it's not good enough. 
Also, that's a good point. Why are we actually waiting for, you know, uh, this guy to produce children uh, by himself so we can marry them when we could just, like, you know... Uh, yeah, we can just murder his wife. And then as soon as she's murdered, we can just marry one of our many, many useless children straight over to... Oh, that's perfect. Also, I can't help but notice... Oh, there's a lot of sexy people willing to join our schemes. Okay, so I've just basically broken this country in terms of flipping religion because a lot of people are starting to convert to sexy and they want to see the Catholics assassinated. Oh, this is... This is wonderful. Ooh, and I only just realised, uh, convert to witchcraft is a scheme. Right, I didn't know that, that's fun. So if I want to, yes, actually have more witches in the family, this is how we're going to do it, gotcha. So that's actually a, um, a personal scheme. Okay, so I can convert the entire family to witchcraft, nice and slowly if I want to, just through scheming. Also, I'm thrilled to see the game isn't saying, hey, you kind of need to, you know, not found a university anymore because you founded Cambridge. Good. We can still found the good university, Oxford. So, uh, I mean, which coven? Fertility up, health up, hostile scheme up. Wow, that's, that's actually really good. That's actually really good. But unfortunately, there's, there's so many members of our dynasty. This is going to be quite tricky to, uh, quite tricky to do, actually. So Oxfordshire is. Okay, you know what? You get over there and sort out Oxfordshire. Get working on that. I want them up to 40 as soon as possible. In fact, can I do anything to, you know, increase the level of... Why is Oxfordshire so absolutely bloody underdeveloped? What has been going on here? Oh, and we just picked up standing armies. Oh, we're just... We're flying through the tech tree. So standing armies was... More men at arms. And also size... Wait, plus... Plus five? Holy heck, they go up to 17 now. Oh, that's... That's a lot. Okay, let's just nip back in time. Because, yeah, we need to get hoarding sorted out. Because we're missing some crucial tech from the uh, the high medieval era. So let's start working on that. So, yeah, we don't get any of the cultural or the regionals. Uh, do we actually need any of this, by the way? No, we've already got all of that. Obviously, we've already got all of the tribal stuff. So uh, we need to wrap up hoardings... Uh, First, that needs to be done in three years, and oh, bloody hell, you're doing a... Uh, you have done so well. Odd the scholar, odd the magnificent, odd the founder of the wrong university, but we're gonna put that right, damn it. And, uh, okay, this is... this is wonderful. This is just wonderful uh, right here. Admittedly, you are kind of uh, having your ass handed to you by, you know, just a countess or something. But, no one seems to have, like, you know... Uh, Kicked you out or declared war on you to replace you uh, yet. So this is, uh, this is fine. And if we can just get allied with him, we can help him out against any of his internal problems. The Holy Roman Empire is looking uh, very, very weak. Pomerania is looking, uh, yep, hopeless. Carpathia might actually be smelling a bit of blood here, as of the Byzantines. Uh, Sicily's already gone over to orthodoxy. I think we're doing it. I think we're starting to break the power of Catholicism. These guys are not flipping happy right now. They're losing on every front. And one final thing, because the people I put in place have been hopeless at it, yes, this priest is apparently willing to, uh, yes, go over to uh, our sexy, sexy religion on condition there's, yes, a weak cook. Though, to be honest, I'm not sure... I don't really know what he'd use it for, what he could use it for. I don't know what a priest is going to be able to do to me. But it's irrelevant. It's completely irrelevant because I believe with his conversion, that is all five holy sites in hand. So that's actually an extra... That's extra stewardship per level of devotion. My devotion is already capped out. So I just gained plus five stewardship right there. So I'm up to 18. Wow. 10, 10, 18, 23, 30. That is, uh, that's one a hell of a bunch of stats. Okay, so I would say next up we have got, yes, I thought we were going to get to this today, but then the ridiculous scheme with Aquitaine happened instead. So uh, I would say uh, that is enough for now. But next time, uh, yeah, the real children uh, start coming through. Uh, Rikissa, who has got herself, yes, she is beautiful uh, and quick. Or alternatively, Katarina, who is a flipping genius. Then there is, hang on, next is uh, 
You're not important for anything in particular. Katarina, we've already had that. Christina, who is also a flipping genius. And then we go over to, yes, Jedward, who is uh, potentially of interest too, actually. He could be, uh, he could be something uh, very, uh, very special indeed. I believe Margarita is looking promising as well. There's, uh, there's a lot of kids who could be uh, a big, big deal. It kind of just depends. Basically, uh, Whoever gets flipping education level four, I can just point at them and say, yes, you're now going to uh, rule the cocking world. So, uh, okay, excellent, excellent progress today. Next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will find out who our next ruler shall be. We will try and get married into Aquitaine so we can defend them from any internal uprisings. Make sure we defend our brand new sexy territory over there. And uh, yes, indeed, might be time uh, for us to consider the next great Holy War. Then again, uh, the Pope's got to be thinking about Crusades as well. So, uh, at this point, are we maybe in a strong enough position with uh, 43,000 troops, with plus 78 coming into gold, with almost 1,000 gold in the bank? Are we ready to, yes, launch a major campaign against Catholicism again? Because uh, I suspect we might be. Oh, and the Kingdom of Italy. Now that, that'd potentially be the thing. That'd get me then again. Hang on, don't forget. Don't forget, I've actually got myself a vassal who potentially would be uh, very interested in taking over a giant pile of land. Just keep moving down over here. The invasion of Italy might be about to begin, ladies and gentlemen. The dismantling of the papacy could well be at hand. So, hopefully, you join me next time for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Crusader Kings 3. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This this guy's enjoying that. This guy's enjoying his elephant a bit too much. Oh my god. In Fair Verona, we set our scene. Oh my god, Becky. Look at her butt. It is so big. They've managed to glitch inside one of the buildings. Elephants in the rear. And then in come the chariots. Yeah.